So moving on to the blood test results. And for an example, let's take a look at my total cholesterol. So what you'll get here is a full description of this biomarker followed by your current score and then how that score compares to your previous results. Now, underneath that is the DNA section. So this is gonna take a look at the impact of genetics on certain biomarkers. And just to note, you will only get this with the DNA kit or through their DNA upload. But as you can see, I do have an elevated risk for high cholesterol based on my genetic profile. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm doomed to have a high score forever, but I'll likely have to work a little bit harder on diet and exercise to keep these numbers down. And then the last section covers two other things. The biomarkers impact on the body, which in my case is a high resting heart rate, along with practical recommendations like olive oil and exercise to actually help improve this score. Now, this is by no means an exhaustive list of options. It's simply some low hanging fruit to just help you get started. You'll actually get the complete list of suggestions in your action plan, which we'll cover in just a few. But before we get there, let's take a look at DNA and InterAge and the impacts that they have on your overall results. So starting with DNA, and you actually have a couple options here when it comes to this data. You can either go with Inside Tracker's at home test, which analyzes 261 genetic markers, or say you already did a DNA test through another company, then you can just upload that data to the platform yourself. So once this data is uploaded and analyzed, you'll get to see how your DNA influences certain wellness traits. So these will include things like your weight, aging, performance, and even sleep. And by pairing these genetic insights with a blood test, you'll get an even more comprehensive view of your health and a better understanding of the metrics that you need to prioritize first. Moving on to inner age. And this calculation looks at a range of biomarkers that are highly correlated with aging. So 13 biomarkers for females and 17 for males. And some of these include things like LDL, cholesterol, glucose, and DHEAs. As a result, the score you get here reflects an estimation of your biological age or how fast you're aging on the inside, which differs from your chronological age or the number of years that you've been alive. And within this report, you'll actually get a full breakdown of how these individual biomarkers actually impact your total inner age. So for me, LDL is the biggest contributor for raising it, adding five years onto my inner age score. Whereas BMI is the biggest contributor for lowering it taking this number down half a year. And so you can actually use this breakdown tool to better understand your score and determine which biomarkers you need to prioritize in order to start improving. Now, it is important to remember that your inner age, it isn't set in stone. It's just a reflection of the state of your health right now. So. If it's where you want it, then great. But don't overstress a high number because, well, it too can be changed. Which leads us to action plans. And at the top of this page, under Edit Action Plan, you can choose from a list of 12 different goals to work on, ranging from gut health to endurance, cognition, and so on. Just keep in mind that with any new goal comes a whole new set of recommendations. For me, well, the choice was obvious, and so I went with the inner age goal. But if you're struggling between two or more goals, I would say just prioritize the most important one first because you can always go back and revise that later. But coming back to the action plan itself, and if we click on any one of these recommendations, like probiotic foods, this will open up a new details page where you'll find 
everything from the science to the benefits and all the ways it actually helps your blood and DNA. The information here, it is incredibly useful and can help you see the connection between your action plan and your original goals. And so in lowering my LDL and glucose, probiotic foods in turn can help me lower my inner age as well. So now that you see the big picture on what you're doing and why you're doing it, let's talk about your long-term health plan because the reality is it's just as easy to pick up a habit as it is to fall off track, which is exactly what happened to me. So right after my first round of testing, I got super dialed in and serious about my new routines. I cleaned up my diet, I started a new workout routine, and I checked in on the app every single day. But then a cross-country move, the holidays, work stress, it all piled up and toppled down my whole routine. So I ghosted my plan entirely, but that ultimately came back with a price. My biomarkers got significantly worse and my inner age went up a whole decade. But in some ways, I'm kind of glad this happened because it was the wake up call I needed to really start taking better care of my health. Now, that being said, if you find yourself in a similar predicament, just know that you're not alone and that things like this, they happen. Life gets in the way, routines, they can change and sometimes we just flat out fall off track. But I've come to learn that's not something to be ashamed of. It's something to grow from. So I would encourage you to keep a positive outlook no matter the end results. Each time you test, is a new opportunity to think about your lifestyle, to revisit the plan, and to keep moving forward towards your health goal. So keeping that in mind, this time around, I'm gonna get back to these daily check-ins and the calendar reminders on the app because they are great for tracking progress and they're also super easy to do. I should also mention that I will take my own advice and not wait a year to get retested. That was a mistake. From now on, I'm sticking to every six months at the minimum because this does help you see the things that are working versus not and can make course correcting a whole lot easier and in less time.